underneath Yellowstone that if it erupts in a maximum eruption called Category 8, it can literally tear the guts out of the United States of America. This is the Yellowstone National Park, and its alert system just announced the massive dome-shaped uplift still increasing in size. Yellowstone National Park is nestled in the breathtaking western part of the United States, spreading its beauty across three states, Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. It boasts an immense expanse of around 2.2 million acres, securing its place as one of the largest national parks in the entire country. Experts have confirmed that this geological upheaval continues to expand, raising profound questions about the potential consequences for the most geologically active regions on Earth. The discovery has sent shockwaves throughout the entire scientific community. What are the potential consequences, and how could it shape our future? Yellowstone National Park In the western part of the United States, there lies a colossal entity that slumbers peacefully. This slumber has lasted an astounding 70,000 years, with only sporadic movements to interrupt its rest. However, when this behemoth finally awakens, its power and magnitude could be truly unprecedented. This extraordinary being is none other than the supervolcano beneath Yellowstone National Park, a vast expanse of wilderness and forests spanning across Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana. Specifically, the volcano is situated in northwestern Wyoming, encompassing the majority of Yellowstone. The surface above the Yellowstone supervolcano rests upon a scorching core of molten and semi-molten rock known as magma. As magma flows into a reservoir called a magma chamber, located approximately 6 to 10 kilometers beneath the park, the ground swells and rises. However, as the magma cools and solidifies, the ground subsides and sinks back down. For many years, a team of volcanologists has been diligently monitoring the volcanic activity at Yellowstone National Park, starting as far back as 1923. Their measurements have revealed that the ground actually experienced a gradual rise of approximately 25 centimeters. This prolonged period of gradual ascent has led numerous scientists to speculate on the possibility of an eruption occurring in the foreseeable future. Naturally, there is a significant concern about the potential intensity of such an eruption. Past, present, and future The recent surge in underground activity has sparked discussions about the potential magnitude of an eruption. Over the past decade, the volcano has been rising at an unprecedented rate, causing further intrigue and speculation. Yellowstone experiences a notable number of earthquakes annually, averaging between 1,000 and 3,000. Most of the tremors go unnoticed by the general population, measuring at a magnitude of 3 or lower. However, these seismic events provide valuable insights for scientists, offering clues about the rate at which the magma chamber beneath the park is being replenished. If the frequency and intensity of these tremors were to increase significantly, it could indicate that a fresh infusion of magma has recently occurred within the reservoir. Despite the heightened seismic activity, scientists maintain that the rumblings in the magma chamber do not pose an immediate threat. However, due to the limitations of human observation and analysis throughout Yellowstone's history, it remains challenging to accurately decipher the exact process at play. Consequently, geologists face difficulties in predicting the next course of action for Yellowstone. By studying the distant history of the volcano, researchers have uncovered valuable insights. Geological evidence reveals that Yellowstone has undergone three monumental eruptions in the past 2.1 million years. Volcanologists have determined that these eruptions took place at intervals of approximately 600,000 to 800,000 years. The most recent significant event, estimated to have occurred around 640,000 years ago, left its mark throughout the park and even extended across thousands of kilometers in the surrounding area. Each of these past eruptions unleashed vast quantities of volcanic ash, gases, magma, and other debris, blanketing a substantial portion of the continental United States. In fact, the remnants of the volcanic material have been discovered as far away as Louisiana. Following each eruption, the Yellowstone supervolcano experienced a collapse inward, engulfing trees, mountains, and everything else in its surroundings. This resulting depression is known as a caldera, which is also how the Yellowstone supervolcano is often referred to. The formation of a caldera through such an eruption would pose an immense natural hazard within the boundaries of Yellowstone, 
According to scientists, the magnitude of the last eruption at Yellowstone was a staggering 1,000 times greater than the infamous 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. That eruption claimed the lives of 56 people, caused extensive devastation across hundreds of square kilometers in Washington and Oregon, and resulted in the loss of countless animal lives. When the Yellowstone supervolcano erupted thousands of years ago, it unleashed a catastrophic eruption column composed of scorching ash, molten rock, and deadly gases. This column soared thousands of meters into the atmosphere, casting a shadow of darkness over a significant portion of the continent. The eruption triggered the terrifying movement of pyroclastic flows, which are swiftly moving currents of searing hot, dry rock fragments and gases. These flows raced through the region at alarming speeds, obliterating everything in their path. Additionally, magma erupted from the ground, leaving behind a charred landscape stretching for kilometers. Today, evidence of the immense eruption can still be found within the Yellowstone caldera itself. This massive caldera spans 50 kilometers in width and 70 kilometers in length. The remnants of the eruption's thick volcanic debris can be observed in an area known as the Lava Creek Tuff. This sprawling 3,472-square-mile park encompassing the caldera is a haven of geological marvels, boasting vibrant geysers and effervescent pools. These captivating phenomena owe their existence to the dynamic interplay of magma and superheated fluids swirling beneath the park's surface. Among these geological wonders, Norris Geyser Basin stands out. Situated to the northwest of the caldera, this area boasts over 500 hydrothermal features. The ever-changing display of these boisterous geysers and pools is a testament to the volcanic activity at work. However, there has been an even more substantial transformation occurring in this region. Over the course of more than two decades, an area larger than the city of Chicago, centered around the basin, has undergone sporadic inflation and deflation. Unraveling the precise causes behind such movements in the hyperactive volcanic region like Yellowstone is a complex endeavor. To gain a deeper understanding of the processes occurring beneath the surface, scientists analyzed decades' worth of satellite-based radar and GPS data of Norris Geyser Basin. By studying the changes observed above ground, they developed models to depict the possible activities unfolding below the surface. Their findings revealed that in the late 1990s, a body of magma intruded beneath Norris, and the fluids trapped within the magma began to bubble out and navigate their way through the intricate network of rocks above. As these fluids encountered obstructions and pressure accumulated, the land would experience uplift, causing the ground to rise. Conversely, when the fluids found alternate paths to escape, the pressure was released, leading to deflation and subsequent sinking of the ground. If you're liking the video so far, make sure to subscribe to the channel and watch our previous videos to stay amazed. Geysers Steamboat Geyser, found within this ever-changing patch of Yellowstone, serves as a prime example of the striking and unforeseeable transformations that occur in this scorching region. Standing tall at 400 feet, this geyser has historically erupted frequently, with intervals between major eruptions ranging from several days to even half a century. However, since March 2018, Steamboat Geyser has defied expectations, erupting as often as once a week. Its astonishing eruption frequency in 2018, with a total of 32 eruptions, set a record that was then surpassed the following year, when the geyser erupted a staggering 48 times. The tranquility of Norris Geyser Basin was abruptly disrupted in March 2014, when a significant earthquake with a magnitude of 4.9 jolted the area, putting an abrupt end to the ongoing uplift. Following this seismic event, the ground began to experience gradual fluctuations, alternating between sinking and rising. However, by early 2019, a subsistence phase commenced, and currently, the basin sits at around 5 inches higher than its elevation in 2000. During the period of uplift from 1996 to 2004, the magmatic intrusion played a significant role. As the magma gradually cooled, dissolved fluids within it were able to escape, resulting in a decrease in internal pressure within the magma chamber. This deflationary process can be linked to a leaky balloon losing air, ultimately causing the ground to lower between 2005 and 2013. The relentless quest of escaping fluid has led to its repeated entrapment beneath layers of rock, resulting in sporadic and unpredictable ground uplift. Scientists have struggled to fully comprehend and document this cycle of magmatism and hydrothermal activity. While the new model presents a plausible hypothesis, 
It's important to note that certainty remains elusive, as explained by Michael Poland, the scientist in charge at the U.S. Geological Survey's Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. In addition to the body of magma, other sources of fluids, such as heavy snowfall in recent years, could accumulate in pockets underground and escape sporadically as the landscape undergoes its inhaling and exhaling motions. This possibility highlights the complexity of the situation and the need for further investigation. The presence of magma-derived fluids near the surface of Norris Geyser Basin is suspected by the research team. Throughout the region, evidence of hydrothermal explosion craters can be found, dating back thousands of years. These craters are formed when confined, scorching water acts as a geological pressure cooker, violently depressurizing and rapidly boiling into steam if the surrounding rock fractures. Unfortunately, predicting such events is nearly impossible. The intricate network of underground channels and pathways within the rock adds to the complexity of the situation, constantly fluctuating in subtle ways that can influence the likelihood of an explosion. While the possibility of additional eruptions remains speculative, the research team does not suggest closing off the area to visitors. The team also ponders whether the buildup of magmatic fluids could be linked to the unprecedented surge in eruptions from Steamboat Geyser. Similar periods of increased activity were observed in the 1960s and early 1980s, potentially connected to the cycles of the basin's movements. However, the question arises as to why Steamboat Geyser is displaying such a spectacle while other geysers nearby remain dormant. Although the connection between Steamboat's heightened activity and the intrusion of magma remains circumstantial at best, the timing does align. In future investigations, the researchers aim to examine the chemical composition of the fluids that reach the surface to determine if they are the unmistakable signatures of a magmatic origin. Nonetheless, the fact that scientists have been able to construct a plausible narrative that might explain these remarkable changes is a testament to the wealth of data accumulated over decades and the advancements in modern scientific techniques. What do you think about the situation? Let us know in the comments section below and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching.